Following the announcement of the Ministry of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security on conducting a national outreach program for obtaining national documents countrywide, its offices have been inundated by people in need of these documents. Hundreds of residents in need of national documents have been flocking to the John Pandeni constituency office, some coming in the early hours of the morning to secure a spot to register for the documents. These include the elderly, youth and children with their parents. However, the process has been slow with no orderly queue. Some told NBC News that they have been coming since last week, hoping to be assisted. I have been coming here every day since last week, Wednesday, around 4 a.m. Still no assistance. I did not get inside and haven't received any form or number. Yesterday, they were calling names of those that managed to enter the office. However, we are still waiting. They keep telling us to wait. I lost my birth certificate and came to get a new one, and they told me to come back last Tuesday. Until today, I am not assisted, and I've come very early, leaving my small baby at home. Others expressed their gratefulness to the Ministry of Home Affairs, Immigration, Safety and Security for bringing the services closer to them. However, they wish for a fast service delivery. I'm thanking really the, 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 the Ministry of Home Affairs for having such a, a motivative helping of people. Because if we look at this thing very well, it's, it's a big concern to many people. Because if you happen to capture the population of people registered and that are not yet registered, they are a lot. It is better for them to give us forms prior and when people come back, they will have all needed documents with the application. Then they will be online for capturing. The Chief Public Relations Officer at the Ministry of Home Affairs, Margaret Carlo, says they will look into the matter to accelerate services delivery. She, however, reminded the public that they have until 30 July to obtain the needed national documents. Selima Henok, NBC News. Vantuk.